We're in such a hurry most of the time that we never get much chance to be in the now. The result is a kind of endless day-to-day -day shallow monotony that leaves a person wondering years later where all that time went and feeling sorry that it is gone. For me, this is where motorcycles come in. For me, a motorcycle is a kind of temporal time machine, scattering the monotony and forcing me into the now. In a car, you're always in a compartment, and because you're used to it, you don't realize that through that car window, everything you see is just more TV. You're a passive observer, and it's all moving by you boringly in a frame. On a motorcycle, the frame is gone. You're completely in contact with it all. You're in the scene, not just watching it anymore, and the sense of presence is overwhelming. On a motorcycle, I know I'm alive. When I ride, even the familiar seems strange and glorious. The air has weight and substance as I push through it, and its touch is as intimate as water to a swimmer. I feel the cool wells of air that pool under the trees and the warm spokes that fall through them. I can see everything in a sweeping 360 degrees, up, down, and around, wider than Panavision and in higher definition than IMAX, unrestricted by ceiling or dashboard. Sometimes I even hear music. It's like hearing phantom telephones in the shower or false doorbells when vacuuming. The pattern-loving brain, seeking signals in the noise, raises acoustic ghosts out of the wind's roar. But on a motorcycle, I hear whole songs. Rock and roll, dark orchestras, women's voices, all hidden in the air and released by speed. At 30 miles per hour and up, smells become uncannily vivid. All the individual tree smells and flower smells and grass smells float by like chemical notes on a great plant symphony. Sometimes the smells evoke memories so strongly that as though the past hangs invisible in the air around me wanting only for the most casual of rumbling time machines to unlock it. A ride on a summer afternoon can border on the rapturous. The sheer volume and variety of stimuli is like the bath for my nervous system, an electrical massage for my brain, a systems check for my soul. It tears smiles out of me. A minute ago I was dour, depressed, apathetic, numb. But now, on two wheels, big, ragged, windy smiles slap against the sides of my face, billowing out of me like air from a decompressing plane. Transportation is only a secondary function. A motorcycle is a joy machine. It's a machine of wonders. A metal bird, a motorized prosthetic. It's light and dark and shiny and dirty and warm and cold lapping over each other. It's a conduit of grace. It's a catalyst for bonding the gritty and the holy. I still think of myself as a motorcycle amateur, but by now I've had my handful of bikes over half a dozen years and slept under my share of bridges. I wouldn't trade one second of it, either the good times or the misery. Learning to ride is one of the best things that I have ever done. Cars lie to us and tell us we're safe, powerful, and in control. The air conditioning fans murmur empty assurances and whisper, sleep, sleep. Motorcycles tell us a more useful truth. We're small and exposed and probably moving too fast for our own good, but that's no reason not to enjoy every minute of the ride. God, this place is fucking amazing! Fucking amazing!